Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Normally I do videos on um, locks, security, things along those lines, but I thought I'd uh, show you a quick little project I did with my son. He's nine and uh, we built this the other day. What this is is a rotating platform. So you can basically do shots like I just showed you on the intro. Uh, it rotates, it's white, and um, the equivalent of this was probably about four or five hundred dollars and I really didn't want to spend it for what I use it for so we built this so this is where it goes from photography into locksmithing because the way we built it I'll quickly just show you is like this if you can see that so what we've got here is um, we've got door stops all the way around and we've got a motor let's rotate that around so you can uh, see it probably see it better about here so we've got our AA batteries, we've got an RC motor uh, connected on the outer rim. So all of those door stops actually rotate. When you turn it on, we'll just turn it on here. Here we go. Look at that. And the funny thing is I actually loaded it up with about 10 to 15 kilos and it still worked. So for the investment of maybe $50, $60, we were able to build this and it works for what I wanted to use it for. So we've got a tabletop, we've got some door stops going all the way around. We've got our battery pack, our RC motor, and we've got a little uh, DC motor controller, which is around here. And basically I can adjust the speed as it comes around. There we go, look at that. Turn it down, Woo. go as slow as I want, as fast as I want. The little wheel actually just pushes it around and around. So it was a cool little project to do with my son and um, it works what we want it. I don't have the studio lights on it at the moment so we don't get that kind of floating image. But it's a fun little uh, project all the same. And the little RC motor that's driving it is pretty cool. It's only a 6 volt motor. We're using um, one 1 1.5 volt uh, AA battery so we've got about 8 volts in there. So we've got a little bit of extra juice using energizers and it works for what we want it to. <clears throat> so the whole idea behind this was that, I'll just turn that around there, you put it down, you put a product, there we go, 001 strike, and then where's that controller? Here it is here, you turn it on, and you can do the rotating image. Of course you need lights to uh, shine from different directions so you don't get the shadow effects, and you do need to center it, and there's our center right there. But I, I'm fairly happy with that. And for what we paid and for what it does, it's actual tabletop with a Lazy Susan uh, ball bearing rail underneath. And of course, you saw my uh, my door stops. It is eight door stops. One of the other things um, I used on this project, I can speed it up, slow it down too and I can even turn off. One of the other things I used on this project which I found really cool was these things right here. Now these are metric, if you're in the States you probably want to use Imperial, uh, but these are metric. They're a drill bit with your hexagon on the back with uh, threading. So they're actually like a, a drill, a tap with your thing on the back and I use these with my impact driver and they just work to treat because I was drilling, drilling through aluminium and to tap them you drill it, I drilled a pilot hole and then I just basically went through with the drill a little bit more, tapped it forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, and I had some good threads on that outer ring. That outer ring allowing me to mount the motor very securely, allowing me to mount the power pack and all the rest very securely on that ring. Considering it's only a 10 mil ring and you've got ball bearings in there, you don't have a lot of room to move, but that allowed us to do that. So these uh, products right here I bought off of eBay, I think I like 10 bucks. But I love them. I'm glad I bought three packs. And uh, for aluminium, tapping aluminium and other electric strikes and things like that, I'll probably definitely be using them. But the end result is, and I'll just turn it on again, an adjustable speed rotating uh, ph photography. Oh, hang on. We've got something holding it up now. There we go. And, of course, you can speed it right up. So that's max res resolution there. It is a bit noisy, but as you'll see in the intro, you can cut the noise out and you can also reduce the speed higher or lower. And that will just make all your customers dizzy. So that was our project this weekend. 
nothing to do with locksmithing apart from we're going to be using it for some of our intros on some of the products we review and um, yeah didn't cost us much at all and I'm quite happy with the outcome if you've built something similar or you'd like to comment please leave it down below in the description thanks for watching